In the 19th century, as Saratoga became a destination for the well-to-do looking to improve their health, the society papers of the time covered the Saratoga scene with written narratives and special illustrations. Before photojournalism, it was common for print publishers and newspapers to send artists out to places of import in order to illustrate scenes so that the public could visualize the event or place without actually being there. Artists began illustrating Saratoga scenes as early as 1825, when Saratoga was still quite rural and underdeveloped. Illustrated lithographs show men in frock coats and women in their empire dresses standing about the countryside among livestock, drinking from the springs in the ground. Lithographs also illustrated the early Saratoga hotels with their grand colonnade. Already in these prints, we can see the fashionable giant sleeves and pelerines of the 1830s, demonstrating that Saratoga was a place where the high society gathered. As Saratoga became more developed, more people arrived, and there was more for the papers to cover and more incentive for artists to illustrate the goings-on. Saratoga scenes made frequent appearances in Harper's Weekly, but Frank Leslie's illustrated newspaper had perhaps the most regular coverage of Saratoga, as the owner of the paper owned property on Saratoga Lake. With light-hearted, tongue-in-cheek coverage of the social scene in the city, Frank Leslie's at least pretended that it didn't take itself or society too seriously, while still covering all of the gossip that its readers craved. Frank Leslie's illustrated newspaper was founded in 1855 and grew enormously during the American Civil War due to its sometimes lurid illustrated coverage of the conflict. When Frank Leslie himself died in 1880, his newspapers and personal finances in heavy debt, his widow Miriam took over the paper herself. Within a few years, she had legally changed her own name to Frank Leslie, reorganized the business, and increased the circulation of the papers by at least 200,000. Being high society themselves, due to the success of his papers, Frank Leslie's periodicals covered the highest of high society, while sometimes gently skewering it as well. As we follow the illustrations through the decades, we can watch the Saratoga crowds become larger, the architecture becomes grander, and the fashions narrow and slim and move through hoop, bustle, and back again. We can even find elements of structures that are familiar to us today. Of course, the papers also covered the major news events of the day with illustrations. The illustrations of events were often highly dramatized, the better to appeal to a hungry public and entice them to pay a few cents to gaze upon it themselves but the context and flavor that these illustrations give to the otherwise flat and hidden events of the era cannot be understated. While photography of the era was still static and posed, illustrators attempted to capture the movement and grace of life in the time. Flipping through these prints gives us a rosy, almost whimsical view of Saratoga in the time before photojournalism and video recording. <laughs> 